Apple's AR kit was showed off to the world in June at WWDC 2017, enabling any iPhone with an A9 or newer processor to run augmented reality games and apps. It was released alongside iOS 11 in September, and there has been a huge wave of AR games and apps since then. Just two months after Apple's AR kit announcement, Google announced AR Core, which is pretty much the same thing, except for Android devices. Two more months after that, Samsung announced that their devices will be gaining AR Core support. Even though Samsung's Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus were released in March, they didn't get AR Core support until the middle of May, just a few days ago. Since we have both the iPhone X and Galaxy S9 Plus in our office, we decided we'd compare the differences between AR apps and games on each device. To start using AR Core apps on the S9 Plus, just download AR Core from the Google Play Store. Although there are many AR apps and games for both Android and iOS, we'll be comparing the limited amount of them that are cross-platform. Let's start with a simple game called AR Insect Invaders. We'll go ahead and use the iPhone X first. As you see, I have screen recording on. And it instantly saw the surface. It's doing a really good job of it. Let's just place it right here. As you can see, there's like rolls of sushi. You can actually get pretty close detailed with it. And I guess we're killing these little insects. So the tracking so far is working pretty well, as you can see. You can get at a nice low angle. Okay, we're now recording on the S9 Plus. And there's a little bit of lag time, okay? So tracking is working fairly well here as well. But it seems like it twists a little bit oddly here. Let's try to place this down. Okay, here we go. It's kind of jittering. Kind of odd. So it's working pretty well. We can get kind of close. Whoa, that's weird. So it just disappeared. Oh wow, it's freaking out. I do not know what's going on here. This is not right. So it does not work on this app. Try it in your place. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, so. Whoa. Right there. That's good. Cool. It's working pretty well. I guess it's like the full size of what the furniture is going to look like in your place. It's pretty awesome. Let's add the same thing. Try it in your place. So I guess it's asking me to scan. I don't know if it can't scan this. I mean, I mean, what do you want me to do? There was some dots. There you go. So it detected, detected the table. Now, if we can place this spin, okay, I don't know, it's not showing up anywhere. Let's try this thing. Where is it? Nothing. I have no idea what's wrong. Nope. Next up is Kings of Pool. Okay, got this little AR button right here. So, instantly detects it. Let's pinch make it a little smaller and can I make it even smaller? Let's place it right here. Cool, look at that. Got our little pool table. Wow. That is pretty cool. It's nice. Look. You can get look how close and detailed you can get here. That's awesome. Okay, let's let's break this right here. Pull it back. Hit it like that. Ooh, look at that. You see that? Anyways, tracking works very well. It hasn't moved an inch. Here we go. Looks like it's having trouble finding a nice flat surface. Like, what do you mean? It's got this big table in front of me. Um, what does it want me to do? I mean, the iPhone 10, like, literally, it tracked instantly. So the S9 Plus is failing to recognize this table as a flat surface. So I guess you can't play this app, this game, in AR on the S9 Plus. Okay, so here's a really fun app for kids, Thomas and Friends Minis. So you can actually create a track and you can place it on a surface. Let's place it right here. You can actually change the size of it. Woo. Okay, we'll, we'll have a small one. And what's cool is you can zoom in and look at all these details. Look at the track. This is pretty fun for kids. 
The cool thing is as you get closer to each little thing, the sound follows it. So if you get close over here, you can hear the uh, water going. You can hear it crashing over here. AR mode. Your device towards a flat surface and tap the screen. Flat surface? It is not tracking at all. It cannot find a surface. Whereas the iPhone 10 found it literally right away. All of the apps are updated. AR Core is updated. All the software is updated. This should be working and it is not. So now we have a fun little game called Stack AR. As you guys can see, it's tracking very well. Got the little dots everywhere. And we can tap to start, place it a little stack. Look at that, you could get nice and close. It's got shadows, everything's good. You can tap. So pretty much you tap and stack these little blocks. And if you miss a little bit, it gets cut off. So I'll kind of give you an example, see that? Just keep stacking, stacking, stacking. Let's just lose really quick. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it kind of raises up. You can check it out, you got the score. Okay, scanning it. It is having trouble finding the surface here. Not sure why. All right, let's try Leo AR camera. So it's tracking instantly. Nice, let's place like a cat. It's loading. Boom. There's our cat. Can I move this guy? Okay, I can move it around. Nice. All right, we got the same app on our S9 Plus. Let's start by finding a surface. Got it. Let's do it, okay go it is having trouble it can definitely detect the table okay I can see some dots there perfectly there you go it's got it let's go ahead and place the same kitten whoa where is it going okay that was weird let's place a alligator okay so it's staying cool and it's wobbling around like crazy and it's gone and it's back so I figured I'd try some apps and games that are exclusive to the S9 and S9 Plus as you can see it actually found the grid finally and now we can place a little Jenga so maybe cross-platform games have issues right now look at that we finally have a game that works Tracking is working out pretty well. You can go above it. Move the phone to move the block. Drag it free from the table. That works. I'm going to go ahead and try some more S9 apps. Android apps to see if it'll work. Okay, now we have AR core measure and it is accurately finding our grid, our tabletop. So it may be just the cross-platform games that do not work right now. Here we go, we got it. Look at that, it is actually working pretty well now. Not bad at all. Now this one, I specifically put in AR Core. I have no idea if there's any difference. Lithium W, let's place it. Well, this is actually working. Right, so this app is working and it's tracking very well. So it must be that it doesn't support maybe like the Unity engine because a lot of the uh, cross-platform games use the Unity engine for AR. So it's pretty much a hit or miss. Most apps that we tried weren't even able to detect the table. It did work with Jenga but I'm back in Jenga right now and it can't seem to scan it. It worked one time, but now it can't find it, unfortunately. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't work. Some, most of the time it doesn't even detect the table. So we can pretty much say that most of the AR games on the Google Play Store for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus do not work. And we have no idea when they're going to be fixed. 
They haven't even said anything about there being issues, but we're getting some pretty major issues here with most of the games we tried. And pretty much all the cross-platform games we tried don't even work on the S9 Plus. Whereas on the 10, they work perfectly. So for the times that the, this did work, it worked pretty well. So we're not sure what's wrong. Everything is updated, all the games, AR Core is updated, all the software on the Galaxy S9 Plus is updated, and it's just not working out. We're not sure what's wrong or when it's going to be fixed, but we might revisit this when it gets patched or whatever happens and try it again. So thanks for watching, guys. Let us know what you thought about this comparison in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.